The purpose of this video is to show our district's parents how we can use the RAS Kids app or RAS Kids website to access reading at home that their child can work with. So a lot of our K2 teachers use the RAS Kids app, which is a really helpful way to provide a just right reading at your child's level. Now there's a couple ways that you can access this. If you have something like an iPad that you see here, or an iPhone, or a Kindle, or an Android tablet, there's an app that will help you access RAS Kids. However, if you have a computer or a laptop, there is also a web-based version, which is right here. I'm going to start by showing the app today, and then I'll show the website, but they both basically work the same way. So I'm going to go into the app, and the first thing it will ask you the first time you open it is to enter a teacher username. Each teacher has their own unique username, and it's not necessarily just their name. So when you get a letter home or a password card sent home, it should be listed there. You'll notice I already have one teacher here. I have Mrs. Himley because I worked with her class earlier. So the nice thing is once you enter that teacher username it, username, it will stay on this app. It will save it so you don't have to enter it every time. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on my saved teacher and you will see then that I have the class. So at this point in time, your student will pick their username and then they'll be prompted to enter a password. Most of the time, the password is just two characters. It's pretty easy to remember. So I'm gonna pause this for a moment and log in so we can keep this password private, and then I'll show you what happens next. So I entered the two picture password, and then I press the next button, and now you'll see we're kind of at the home base for this student. Now there are a few sections. You'll see over here we have your own book room. This kind of shows the, the full library of books. However, we want to make sure that students are reading at their just right level. So the spot we really want to go to is right down here, the area that says reading assignment. Down at the bottom, you'll notice a button that says messages. This is if your teacher wants to send your child a message or extra stars for accomplishing something. That will happen here. Now, as you see, I have kind of a, a no sign here, so there's no messages waiting for me right now. And then there's a star zone. So when students complete reading assignments or complete quizzes, um, they earn stars and they can then use those stars to create a robot or a rocket. So it's kind of a nice incentive for them to read. Now I'm going to go to the main area, the reading assignment area. And you will see it will automatically take you to, um, to books at your child's just right reading level. This level was determined by your child's teacher in class and your teacher assigns the levels on her end or his end of the RAS Kids program. So this will take them right to their reading level. Now you'll notice that some of these have check marks. This means that that student has already completed these. These two have bookmarks. The bookmarks mean that um, they've started it but haven't finished. So I'm going to do one that we started because I was playing around with this earlier. Now there's three options here. This is listen to the book. It will read it out loud. This one is read the book, um, so the child reads it themselves. And finally, there's a comprehension quiz at the end. The comprehension quiz will not become available until students have completed the previous two steps. So we'll start with listen, and it will probably pick up where I left off. Normally, it will start on the first page, but this will pick up where I left off. This gardener is a caretaker. He takes care of gardens. So you'll notice what it will do, whoops, let me pause it first. Um, so what will happen is it will track the words and read it out loud um, and it will work through the book that way. Now I'm going to click the back button and I'm going to do the reading option. Whoops, let me get my app to work here. There we go. So the next one is to be able to read. So I'm going to click on that one and again it will pick up where I left off. Now I want to show you something that I think is really exciting. On the top right corner there's a microphone. The first time you try to use this, especially on the app, it might ask if you can have permission to use your microphone. Just click OK. But what students can actually do is they can record themselves reading, which is really, really powerful. Um, not only can they do their recording and then send it to your child's teacher so that your teacher can hear that and analyze it, but also the students can hear themselves read. They can replay it, and that's a really powerful teaching tool. Students can kind of correct their errors or hear their errors when they're listening, and it also helps them as they learn how to um, enunciate and add intonation to their reading. So when I'm ready to record, I'll just click the record button. This gardener is a caretaker. He takes care of, of gardens. 
This road worker is a caretaker. She takes care of the roads. Now I just click stop. I can also pause and restart it. But notice now that I think I'm done with my recording, I have some options. I could just play it and hear it again. This gardener is a caretaker. He takes care of a garden. Oops, so I caught a stumble there. Um, I could also restart it by clicking the new button. Or if I like this recording and I want to send it to my teacher, I can click the star that says send and it will send it to his or her teacher. I'm going to click the back button now. And finally, if I had finished both of these, I still haven't. You'll see they're bookmarked because I haven't. But um, then I'll be offered a comprehension quiz. And we really stress to kids that they want to take their time on this quiz and really show what they know. We don't want them just clicking through to try to get to the next book because the teacher will see how they did on the quiz. And if um, a child struggles with a book, then they might reassign it or work on that book with your child. So those are the main features of this app. It's pretty straightforward. Let me show you the website. It works pretty much the same way. So if you go to raz-kids.com and go to kids login, again, it will ask for my teacher username, which I'm going to have to cross check on my app because I haven't memorized it. Um, so I'll type that in and do next. Again, I'll pick that student. I'm going to pause here. So as you can see, I went ahead and logged in with that password. And you'll see this looks just like the app, maybe a little more snazzy. But um, this has all the same features here. So that's the main gist of how to use Raz Kids at Home. It's a lovely tool to connect your child with reading that's at an appropriate level for them. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact your child's classroom teacher. Or if you have any kind of technical questions, um, please feel free to contact me, Meredith Nickerson. I'm the tech coach here in Dexter. And my email address is nickersonm at dexterschool.org. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.